Yeah, it's a tough day. Tough day when you get to come out and have a little bit of fun. All right, uh, got my R500. I got a new toy for that. Uh, I'm holding the instruction manual uh, to this new turret scope I got for my R500. So that's our goal for the day is uh, sight this thing in. So I've mounted the scope. I took off my uh, 100 yard scope that my R500 came with, the illuminated one. Uh, popped it off, put the base on, mounted the scope, put a level on the limbs, put a level on the scope, kind of just uh, went through that whole process to get this thing ready to rock. So that said, I read the instructions. I'm pretty curious to have a little fun with this because these are the probably some of the best instructions I've, I've read. Um, truth be told, these are the only instructions I've ever read. No, in all seriousness, it's fairly, uh, fairly turnkey uh, in terms of what you're supposed to do with this. So uh, I'm excited. It's got uh, turret tapes. I know how fast my crossbow is shooting. I shot it through the chronograph, my R500 through my chronograph, 498 foot a second. Now, the thing is, is all chronographs have plus or minus, you know, uh, two, two to four foot a second. Mine certainly does. That said, it's important as you're validating these ranges and the tapes that they give you to, you know, set up at 20 yards, which we got a target. I got one out a little bit further distance. Uh, first step, our point of uh, aim and compare that to our point of impact get those two to line up at 20 yards, pop on a tape, shoot out to some distance and see, uh, see what happens. So it seems pretty straightforward. So let's get, uh, let's get cracking. Here we go. Okay. Um, I went ahead and loosened the three screws that they tell you to do on the uh, turret up here so I can pop this bad boy off. Obviously lefty loosey ready tidy on the windage just to get prepared for any kind of measurements. I'm locked ready. Let's see here. 20.4. So it looks like we need to do a height adjustment for sure. I'm not going to worry too much about the left and right. Let's pull this bad boy real quick. So again, 20 yards. I mean, what? We got about, it's a two inch vein, about three and a half inches out of center. Not bad. I'm gonna make a quick adjustment on that turret. So what I need to do is I am going to adjust this few clicks. It's actually not clicks, this is buttery, pretty smooth. So I'm just gonna start with that. 12 o'clock in the spot. I wanna make one more little adjustment, but that that's, that's quick. Okay, shot number three coming up. I'm gonna just bump this in the down direction because I'm hitting high. All right, so I'm just a shade lower. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of splitting hairs. I moved it down about maybe three eighths of an inch from where I was at before, but that makes sense because uh, when I adjusted that down just a little bit, I just barely bumped it. Move that down about the same amount that I did before. Just a skosh. Clearly. Crossbow is doing its job. Yeah, that was that was a simple setup. There is a mark right here that we want to look at. I'll kind of point it out right here. There's a laser engraved white mark. That's our 20 yard in reference to this bad boy here. So per instructions, you put this turret back on, rotate it clockwise till it stops. So this is another cool thing. There's a zero stop in here to make sure that your, your 20 is your zero stop, 20 yard mark. So I wanna pop it on, rotate it till it stops clockwise, give these three screws a quick snug, done. You can see on these sight tapes, there's a row to the right here, which is a indicator of your speed. So as we come down, I know I'm gonna, pro I'm gonna start off with this 498. Wow, according to this tape, I should be able to dial these marks out to 150. Yeah, let's see how well the math lines up here. All right, so here's a good point. Um, there's technically not a 20 yard uh, mark. Uh, as I look at this, I am thinking uh, right here is gonna be this 20. Line that up. So this is how this turret system works. Once you wrap this around, and again, that white indicator lined up with your spot, we're gonna 
we're gonna run out and uh, to some distance and see see what this does. How froggy do we feel? All right. That actually says 110 yards. <laughs> That's probably a bigger jump than what people would recommend. I imagine that there's wisdom in going to a closer distance, like say 60 <laughs> and dialing this, but I want to check this math out. I'm going to dial this. Look at that. It's got a 110 yard mark right here. 110. Looking at that flag, we got a little bit of wind going on. It's not bad. One and a half miles an hour. Let's see what this does. Holy cow. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. We gotta come check this out. Okay, so that's 110 yards, but this is my fourth shot, right, out of this. First one was high at 20. Second one is in the spot. I did two adjustments. That was my third to get into the spot at 20 yards. Went to their dial tape, which uh, for 498 foot a second, I dialed it to 110 because I'm at 110 right here. And I just picked this spot randomly because the good Lord put a stump out here to hold up my target. So, holy cow, three o'clock, slightly out of the spot. But again, I ha we had that crosswind. Um, that was awesome. <laughs> I'm jumping out to 150. Actually, it's like 152, so. <laughs> that looks so freaking cool. Well, the drone will be able to tell us. Okay, so my elevation may be a little off on this tape because they're low, but that one was perfectly centered. I'll take that though. All right, uh, quick summary of what we did today. Uh, objective, take this new turret scope I got and put it on my R500. Uh, kind of made mention about the, the directions, but I kind of want to show these directions. I don't know whoever wrote these was, uh, did a pretty good job. So uh, really, as I there's, there's seven steps in the zeroing of this uh, crossbow. Step one, uh, choose a place to shoot your Raven crossbow that is safe. <laughs> Check, <laughs> we got that. A second step. Locate 20 yard shooting lane, right there. Easy breezy. Steady shooting bench or bipod is recommended when zeroing your Raven crossbow. We got a Caldwell bench here. We, I actually ordered my Raven and uh, with the with their bipod. It, it works great. So I just literally shot that in a, in, a, in a bag off the back. So then you get into the meat of the adjustments. We remove the turret, uh, top and bottom, begin to kind of set our zero. Three shots at 20 yards was all it took. I was three, four inches high the first shot. I was in the spot, second shot, third shot, I made another adjustment back in the center. I had set a, another target out there that just happened to be 110 yards and just because there was a stump sitting there. But what I wanted to do is take the uh, instructions that were provided by Raven uh, with their scope, this turret scope, and really it says once you set a zero and you know the speed of your crossbow, which I do, put the appropriate tape on. I did that, we go to 110 yards, first shot, you guys saw it. But again, our objective was to, to see how quickly we could do it. It was fast. Ravencrossbows.com, go on there, look at all the offerings they got on their stuff. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, man, this was fun. And uh, keep a lookout, we're gonna probably shoot some more Raven products soon.